Hello everybody, this is me 2407 with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys everything I picked up from Bench Racing Diecast. Before this video starts, I'd like to invite you guys to check out Bench Racing Diecast located in Newark, New York. They have the greatest selection for 164 and 124 scale diecasts, and it is an amazing store. Whether you've been collecting for years or just getting into the hobby, it is a must-see for any collector. They also have a website which is linked in the comments and description below, so if you see something you like but don't live nearby, you can still purchase it. Once again, the name is Bench Racing Diecast, but now, let's get on to the video. Alright guys, so here is what my friend picked up. I'll let him do the talking on this one. So this is Brandon Brown's uh, 2021 Talladega win. Um, this was the first win for the team, and unfortunately the incident's known for... <laughs> the, the race is known for um, another incident sparked by a reporter, but... Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a really nice looking car. I mean, there's not a lot of pink race wins in NASCAR. And we actually have like some um, dirt build up on the windshield, which you don't see that on, on a lot of race wins anymore. But overall, it's a pretty solid car. And it's just got a really nice matte finish on it. And yeah, not much else to say about this one. All right, so next up we have Ross Chastain's um, 2022 Next Gen advent health car this car is going pretty quickly online so i figured i had to pick it up here but overall it's a really nice car um you got like some unique designs on the front and the door number is a lot further back than you see on most of the new next gen cars but it's just a really not necessarily simple but it's like sleek looking car and you got the little watermelon print there so but yeah it's a it's a very nice and well done car Definitely a must get for any Chastain fans out there. So that's all he picked up. I gotta head back home and I'll show you everything I picked up there. All right guys, and I am back home and I just kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit of an explanation as to why I've been gone for so long on YouTube. It really hurts not being able to upload, but I've had some uh, priorities set and I really wanted to get a new car. So this is the car that I ended up getting. It's a 2023 Kia Forte GT, but that meant cutting back on die cast. So luckily we got the car out of the way and we can now get back into collecting and hopefully some more videos coming soon. But uh, yeah, this is it. Like a little keychain I got too. But uh, we did pick up quite a few cars from Bench Racing die cast. So I'm gonna show you all those right now. Now onto the cars that I picked up. So I'm gonna start out with the ones that my brother got. And these are the only two, so he picked up this Kazgrala Pit Viper car from 2022. This one, I, I know he ran at Daytona, I don't know where else, but super sweet looking car. And we'll take a closer look at this one later, maybe in a bigger scale, if you know what I mean. There is the Kazgrala. And then he also picked this car up. This one is kind of an obscure piece, but it's a little... Uh, I guess important to him because uh, we were actually at this race so you know it's just kind of cool to have the race cars from uh, places you've been so this was from Daytona and he's a huge fan of like the smaller uh, teams so it's BJ McLeod's 2021 uh, Gatorland car so I don't really know what Gatorland is but it was ran at Daytona and here it is it's got a super cool design on it it's like this really nice green I'm a huge fan of it. Uh, I wouldn't have purchased it personally, but that's what he's into, so that's what he got. Just gonna take a little look at it here. You can see it's a Mustang. And it's crazy how like outdated these cars look already, if that makes sense. Like that's a terrible sound. But I mean it's just the proportions on them are so different compared to next gen. It's 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 crazy. So there's that. That's what he added. I'm gonna start showing you guys what I got. And Actually, the first one, well, man, it is an old die cast compared to the rest of the stuff that I purchased, but I got the box for it right here. It is 2021. It's Alex Bowman's Pocono car. So I was at this race, of course. I believe this was the Saturday win. Uh, if you guys remember, this was a doubleheader weekend, and I picked up the Kyle Busch car from that weekend this year at Pocono. Did not get the Bowman car because it was not out. And uh, yeah, added it now. So, Bench Racing Diecast was nice enough to hold one for me and I was able to pick it up. 
So let's get a look at the die cast. Yeah, I'm like 95% sure this was the Saturday race. That sounds right to me because I'm pretty sure Kyle Busch won like a few miles race on Sunday. So let's get to that car. Not a super exciting one, but it just has meaning to me. I try to add all the cars, some races on that. And now the only two I need are going to be the uh, Kyle Larson Watkins Glen car and then AJ Allmendinger's Watkins Glen from like 2014. Yeah, 2014. So those two are definitely up there on the list of ones I need to get soon. But yeah, not a whole lot going on on this car. Just nice to have. So there's that. And it's funny because I don't know where I'm going to put this in my collection. I have his clean 2021 uh, paint scheme. And this car, like, if I was looking at it from a distance, would not know it's a race version. Aside from, like, the little sticker on it that says win record for Hendrick. It's such a clean race win. All right, next car. Now we'll get all that old stuff out of the way. Time for some next gen. So I picked up three next gen 124s. Remember I said about the Kaz Grala car? Well, let's take a look at that one in 124. So we got a whole bunch of just everything going on here. So Pit Vipers, if you guys don't know what they are, they're basically like sunglasses that uh, I'm pretty sure are like most common with people that ride dirt bikes. I don't really see a whole lot of them at the tracks I go to, but they're just kind of this cool thing that they're kind of crazy looking sunglasses. I don't really know how else to explain them. They got like nice vibrant colors and the designs are just, <laughs> I keep saying crazy. That's all I can think of. Like just colors everywhere, super vibrant, super uh, unique, not really anything else like it. So Pit Vipers, kind of an obscure sponsor. And this is another like really small team car, the money team. I picked it up one because the paint scheme is just all over the place. Two, it's, you know, I think something it's going to go either, it's going to be super hard to find or well, Worst case scenario, it becomes super common and nobody wants it. And it's like 20 bucks on eBay. But I think this is going to be one of those cars that like in two years, everyone's going to kind of want because I'm assuming the money team isn't going to be around forever. And something like this, you don't really see too often. It really reminds me of Travis Pastrana's cars from like 20, was that 2013? I think like the colors are all the same. It's got this teal, goes from this purple to yellow. It's just... It's honestly an ugly car, but I just love it at the same time. So we've got like these white splatters here, white paint, and then on the back it says demand, respect, and authority. And then it's got like these black paint splatters on the back. So that's the Kaz Grala car. I like how it says Memento NFT. I'd like to know if that survived the NFT crash. Probably not. <laughs> but yeah, there's that. Super nice looking. I'm glad I added that one. It's going to add some color to my collection for sure. Next one up. I already got a car from uh, 2022 that looks just like this. Austin Cendrick's Discount Tire Scheme. If you guys remember, I got the clean version at Pocono, but this is the Daytona 500 winner. So this car, um, I mean, I'm now an Austin Cendrick fan, especially after he signed that die cast. You know, the small things add up, and he was super nice and... Yeah, I'll be happy if he wins another couple races. So figured the first one, the Daytona 500, is pretty cool to have. And really all Daytona cars are kind of cool because they do hold their value for the most part. So here it is. And I have a little bone to pick with Lionel Racing on these boxes. I'm not a huge fan. I mean, I know everyone complains about the, the boxes. And I have said before, I'm a huge fan of like the new boxes. I think they look cool. But I think this is just laziness on their part. So I'll show you guys what I mean. Uh, of course, you know, there's like that little plastic piece in there. I don't have it in right now. But like the sleeve just, I don't know. It, it just doesn't sit right with me. I feel like they could have done something more. Would it have really been that hard to add a little bit of color to this? Or, you know, add a photo of Cindric or like just personalizing it for a race version box or like a special win box. I just, I don't know. I think it looks kind of cheap and considering these cars are more plastic than they are die cast at least give us a nice box but yeah there's that you know, nobody buys cars for the boxes but you know it's it's nice to have ones that actually look nice 
if you do like to display them in them. But yeah, back to the die cast tip. I said this is one of my favorite schemes of this year. The chrome wheels look amazing, especially on this car too. Um, we got tons of confetti going everywhere. The red, white, and blue confetti like Daytona, of course. Uh, I, th I think they've been using red, white, and blue for a while. Like as far as I know, I think that's the only colors they use. Um, let's see here. Not really too much damage on it. Got a couple of little marks here and there, but nothing too crazy. Oh, got some dirt here. Rookie stripes, that's pretty cool. Not a lot of rookies win the Daytona 500. Uh, and then we got dirt there. Tires aren't too beat up. And I'm not sure on this, don't quote me, but I think that Lionel Racing has stopped adding detail to the wheels on these die casts. Like, we used to get, you know, on the race versions and... I think on the regular cars as well, like the lug nuts would be colored and like the center hub that stuck out would be colored as well with like a little silver paint. No detail on them this year. And I, I feel like this car, especially for like the first race, the lug nuts would have been like orange or like they, they wouldn't have been solid chrome. I just, maybe it's too hard to add that detail now. I, I don't think it would be, but I'm just trying to think why do they not look detailed? And yeah, look at that. There's no marks on the lug nuts. So, I mean, not a big deal. I mean, it's a center lock lug nut. You're not going to have all those around. But just a little bit of orange here. I feel like the car had it. Or some different coloration would make it look a little bit better. But yeah, not a huge deal. Just something I've kind of observed. So, there's that. And got the big wang on it. Of course, super speedway car. That's like one of the few 2022s that's accurate. On to the final car, and I just noticed something kind of cool on this one. Uh, it's 22, Joey Logano. This is his Coliseum winner. So this car, uh, it's nice having the champion's first win of the year, even if it's not a points race, but also it's just, it's cool. They were at the Coliseum. Like, I don't know how many more times it's going to happen. Having the inaugural car from it, it's just nice. Got some scratches here, scratches there. I feel like we're going to have a lot of cars with these marks on them now for race versions because these composite bodies holding up so well. And once again, you see guys, no detail. Like, I'm sure that there was some brake dust on these cars from the Coliseum. Nothing. Yeah, like, also I've noticed, it's weird. The Goodyear logos are gray on these tires. Now, I'm not saying that's unrealistic. I'm going to assume that's how they looked. It just looks funny. See on the uh, right front there, got some marks. That's a good short track driver. You don't want any marks on that left side, or left front rather. That means you're getting moved out of the way. Got some marks there though. That means he was pretty darn fast. He was moving people. So take a look at the left side here. Once again, those like gray Goodyear logos. This is the only one that's got any sort of yellow on it. And uh, yeah, that is it for this car. And I. I just noticed when I was picking this one up, this car actually has the uh, like little cutouts in the window. You see that uh, at the top under like Logano, those little slashes like that they have in the windows. I think that's kind of cool. Maybe in the future, they'll actually like cut those out in the windows. I don't know. Maybe that's too much to ask from Lionel. But at least they tried to make it look a little more realistic. But yeah, that is going to be it for diecasts I picked up on this trip to bench uh, i'm definitely going to make another trip back there this year before christmas so you guys can be on the lookout for that kind of do a little bit of shopping there but uh yeah I'm super thankful bench racing diecast came in clutch once again and had all of these sweet cars and if you're looking for any of these cars definitely check out bench racing diecast first some of these cars are starting to hop off of ebay they're getting a little harder to find i know that joey logano coliseum car is already getting a little rarer um i'm not sure about the Cindric, but yeah, I wouldn't expect that one to last very long either. And uh, yeah, he's got a lot of next gens in stock, far more than what I picked up today. Uh, he's got an insane amount. And if you guys want to see all the cars that he has in the store as of my trip today, you can check out the video I filmed, which is going to be the diecast shopping video. It's going to have all of those cars and a bunch more. And if you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button. And once again, sorry for being like just absent from YouTube. I mean, school work all of that stuff has consumed so much time and honestly 
I could not believe it's been over two months since my last video upload. Like, just since my school year started, guys, it's just been a grind. And then I'm working a whole bunch. I, you guys saw that new car I bought. So uh, I just really have not had free time to, you know, throw YouTube videos up and go to diecast shopping or really, really the funds to go diecast shopping. So now that I got that out of the way, hopefully, guys, I'll be able to upload a little bit more. So uh, this won't be like an upload and then I'm gone another two months. But yeah, so thank you guys for sticking around and uh, checking out this video. It means a lot. And once again, it's been me, 2407. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.